Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 429. Spinal cord lesions. What areas are affected in poliomyelitis and Werdenig-Hoffman disease? The areas that are affected in poliomyelitis and Werdenig-Hoffman disease is the anterior horn of the spinal cord. What are the characteristics of poliomyelitis and Werdenig-Hoffman disease? The characteristic of poliomyelitis and Werdenig-Hoffman disease is lower motor neuron lesions and this is due to the destruction of the anterior horn and this leads to falcid paralysis. What areas are affected in multiple sclerosis? The areas that are affected in multiple sclerosis are mostly white matter of the cervical region also in multiple sclerosis, you find random and asymmetric lesions. What are some of the characteristics of multiple sclerosis due to demyelination? Due to the demyelination effect of multiple sclerosis, the patient will suffer from scanning speech, intention tremor, and nystagmus. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.